Hi, I'm Amy. I was born in Wales and I'm a teacher. This is Alex. He was born in Ukraine and he's a doctor. In 2024, we decided to take our careers on the road. We're spending the year traveling full time and working remotely. Feel free to follow along each week as we move from country to country and give you our travel tips for each place. This week, we're in City, a place often talked about but that you can't appreciate the full beauty of until you've been. We visited art galleries, walked the botanic gardens, scheduled a dinner cruise, and of course, toured the opera house. This is stop number two on our Australia series, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the rest. We arrived in Sydney in the morning and thankfully we were able to drop our bags at our Airbnb even though we couldn't check in yet. To kill some time, we decided to grab breakfast and head to the Art Gallery of New South Wales which is on Gadigal of the Aurora Nation land. This is free to enter and all the scheduled tours throughout the day are also free. They don't require a booking so you're able to just walk in. We chose the Aboriginal Art Tour and this is held by an Indigenous staff member in the North Building. The theme of this gallery was family relationships and how insight and knowledge is passed down through generations. It was beautiful and fascinating and my favorite gallery that we've done so far this year. Hello. He's brave in the rain all by himself. Oh, oh he's not know. braving the rain. <laughs> yeah, she started recording at the wrong time. <laughs> I was showing how brave you were. I was brave and then I started getting <laughs> raining harder. That's so many stairs. That's like the amount of stairs in the end of John Wick. I'm so hungry. And the place that we're going to eat is up so many stairs. There's like even more than you can even tell on the camera. We decided to visit the Taronga Zoo to see some of the animals that Australia is famous for. This zoo is managed by the Taronga Conservation Society, which supports wildlife habitats and communities across the globe. I say this because as animal lovers, we want to avoid zoos unless they focus on assisting species that are threatened in their wild habitats rather than general visitor entertainment. We got to see koalas, kangaroos, platypus, meerkats, and our favorite, the dingoes. Here in Sydney, they go back to lying down where it's a lot cooler. Um, they generally do sleep for most of the day, especially when it's kind of warm. Oh, that'd be nice if they stay there for the storm. We'll see what happens. Oh. He is the alpine dingo. So he's from Victoria, so he's a lot larger than her. And he has a much thicker coat, almost a double coat of fur. And she is a tropic or a coastal dingo. We're at the Sydney Zoo, because if it's good enough for Taylor, it's good enough for us. It's crazy she walked these exact halls, and when I say halls, I mean halls. walkways. <laughs> like four days ago. She was here like mere hours ago. She could be here right now, I have no idea. There are helicopters swirling the zoo, so, you know, she might be here. We're gonna go see all her favorite animals <laughs> and all our favorites. Oh, we're going inside a cave. Okay, bye. Wow, how did he stick the landing like that? I wonder if it's cute little face. It's so pretty. It's so blue. I'm gonna tell myself that this yacht has Taylor Swift on it. <laughs> so it's me and Taylor. Is he gonna go in the hammock? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He has a blanket. Oh my god, hop up. Do it. That was so cute! Oh, what a good bear. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I see. We'll come up here and look at See there is anything? <laughs> 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 
This is a nicer comparison than the monkey. Is it because I just sleep? Sleep and cute. Cute and sleep. Because I love to nap. After the zoo, we took the ferry back and decided to have a photo shoot while we passed the Sydney Opera House. This was the first time either of us had seen the Opera House, so it was a very cool moment for us. We were staying within walking distance to the Opera House, so we got to walk through the Botanic Gardens on our way home. So this morning after work, we went to the zoo. We were supposed to take a ferry over to the zoo, but they, because of unforeseen circumstances is what they said, um, they had to cut down on services. So we got there for the scheduled time, but when we got there, they said that they wouldn't be leaving for another hour. So we took an Uber instead. Here they're called DDs, but, but we got to take the ferry back and that was a very good view of the harbor and of the opera house. What was your favorite part of the zoo? So the dingoes, 100%. They had these two adorable dingoes, which look just like Foxy. And, um, and a little bit like Bella. A little bit like Bella, but mostly Foxy. Um, other than the dingoes, my favorite was the meerkats. Oh, uh, meerkats were adorable. Very underrated. Right the, but the meerkats the were... The meerkats were so cute. They were very cute. On day three, I booked us a Sydney Harbor dinner cruise so we could explore the city from the water. This was part of the Go City Sydney Explorer Pass, which I do highly recommend looking into. We got it cheaper on Palago.com, so you might want to check there to also save some money. Your eyes match your shirt. Watermelon. My mom? Mm -hmm. I don't cry when it rains no more. Or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing eight more floors. Cause these stairs are all heading the Every time we go up a big hill and I'm inevitably slower than him, he leaves me. He doesn't wait for me. <laughs> you can't hate me because you ain't me. <laughs> we are going to the Royal Botanic Gardens of Sydney. We love a garden tour. We love a bike tour. They're all different, okay? And they're all special. And we learn different things. Yeah. Hello again. Hi. We are. I said hi like you were talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> we are walking back to our Airbnb from the Royal Botanic Gardens, and we just did an Aboriginal like heritage walk slash tour through the gardens, which was led by someone that uh, is part of an Aboriginal tribe. That was pretty informative, and yeah. we learned a lot about the different um, culture and practices that they do. So we are currently walking back to our Airbnb. It's a um, beautiful walk along the harbor. So this is, uh, I guess if you look through the trees, you can see some of these boats and there's a hotel and restaurants through there. We found a little set of stairs. We're gonna see where it goes to. <laughs> oh, it's quite pretty out here. Wow. 
Right now we're sitting on a wall of really pretty boats on the harbor. Now we're gonna look for lunch, a very late lunch, because it's 3 p.m., but we're gonna look for lunch and anything else. Okay, bye. So we like power walked our way here and we were supposed to arrive at 10.04, but because of how quickly we walked, we shaved off four minutes and got here at 10, right as the show was supposed to start. And unfortunately it is now 10.02, almost 10.03, no show. But no show. The view is still Yeah, the fantastic. view is great, but we did absolutely book it <laughs> to get here for 10 o'clock and it's now 10.02 and no show. So we'll wait a while, but I don't think there is a show. I think we just ran here. Any chance it's on the other side, but that would be a little weird. Yeah, no, I don't think it's on the other side. I think we would like hear it or see it. We can't walk up there. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh no, he was right. It was on the other side. Why would they do that? Why would they do it on the side that no one can see? There's literally no one here to watch. That's really sad. <laughs> we we got like the last 30 seconds of it. Yeah. It was only a six minute projection and like no, no one's here. Like no one's on this side. Yeah, nobody even knows about it. There's no sound or anything. Wow, darn it. We were blabbing our mouths. <laughs> yeah. We could have been walking to the right side, but it really doesn't seem like anybody watches it. So I guess there's a tip. Yeah. It's not crowded. <laughs> it's on the small side of the opera house, but it's a. Supposedly, this was a show that was highlighting the history of the Gadrigal, um, like, First Nation people. Um, so it was kind of like uh, their history. If you ever come to Sydney, it's like 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, and 10. Something Is there a 10.30? Like no. Oh. 10's the last time. Aw, bummer. Now they turned the light off altogether. Okay, well, I guess let's look over the harbor. The city, the view of the city from the Opera House is also really nice. Excuse me. Would you mind taking a picture of us? Yeah, no oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, we're caught in the rain. We're under a tree. That's giving us a decent amount of shelter, um, but we are, it is raining outside the tree. Australian money is so pretty. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Look at the 10. The blues and greens and the 20. It's so pretty. It's stunning. That little bird in there. The five's the prettiest by far. These purples and pinks. Just walked through an open market. It had like stores, little shops. This is a part of Sydney we haven't been to before. Um, so that was really fun. It's called The Rocks. It's called The Rocks. Is that what the market is called too? Uh, probably Market at The Rocks. I don't know, something like that. Um, but a beautiful day for a market. It's 83 degrees and sunny and low humidity. Um, and now we're gonna go on a walking tour of Sydney and the walking tours of The Rocks. So that's the part of Sydney we're walking around. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna get, oh, it's starting. The suburb known as The Rocks was easily our favorite part of Sydney. It's a neighborhood of historic laneways, AKA alleyways, right next to Sydney Harbor Bridge. It's a bit glary, but over the doorway, you'll see GR, a nod to King George, at the time, George Riggs. There are open air markets, 
street food, some of Sydney's oldest pubs, a museum of contemporary art, and even upscale restaurants with beautiful harbor views. There are also buskers that play music along the harbor front, which are very pleasant to just stand and watch and enjoy. You can easily spend a couple of days in this location alone, and I actually highly recommend looking for accommodations in this area in particular due to how walkable it is. After the walking tour, we stopped in for some British sweets and then got lunch at a cafe in the market. Cold brew, first one I could find in Sydney. It was 7 .50. No, wasn't it? It was 8 It was 8 Australian dollars, which is about 550 US, which is about a dollar more than Starbucks. We got these really good vegetarian sandwiches. I'm enjoying it. Bread is good, Amy's choice, sourdough. <laughs> He's getting oak and I'm getting <laughs> we Obviously just it's not French, but finish our wine tour and <laughs> back wine, wine tour tasting. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tour of sorts. <laughs> a seated tour. It was a tour, of, <laughs> a tour of the wines. What was your favorite wine? The Bethenian Shiraz, which apparently Australia is known for Shiraz. 70% of the wines produced out of Australia are Shiraz grapes. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. I didn't record the rest of day five and we slept in on day six. I'll let you guess why. Then we made our way to our scheduled tour of the upper house and along the harbor were countless runners. I can see why it's a beautiful path to run or walk along and I highly suggest either. We're going on a tour of the upper or house. Bit of a stretch now. So we went underneath the opera house to this little welcome center. Welcome center. And then they have you check in. And then if your ticket's on your phone, they print you this little ticket. So our tour starts in five minutes. And we're standing out looking at the bay because the Queen Victoria is here. Just kidding. Um, it's a great view though. <laughs> After making our way inside, our tour guide explained the construction behind the opera house, which the math nerd in me loved. Then she allowed us to touch the tiles that cover the entirety of the building. We weren't allowed to record inside any of the theaters at the opera house, but Believe me when I say you need to see them and the tour is 100% worth it. Personally, the Playhouse was my favorite. So we just finished our tour at the Sydney Opera House and now we are walking the Sydney Harbor Bridge. We already walked one way, now we're walking back. It shakes a lot more than I thought it would, and it's very windy, but the views are great. We're not doing what those crazy people do, which is walk at the very top. That costs money and also is scary, so we're not doing that, but this is just as fun. The Harbor Bridge. Walking across from one part of Sydney to the other. There is a way that you can walk up to the top of the columns, but we went to go do it. And then Alex noticed that 
it says $25. We're not gonna do that, but if you want to, you can pay and then you get to go to the top of there and look out over the harbor. This garden is so pretty. It's right next to our Airbnb and we have to walk through it to get to basically everywhere. The opera house, the wharfs, the bridge, the museums. Like we keep walking through it every day and it's just such a nice walk to get to the city. Very peaceful. It's on the harbor. The weather is really nice. There's so many of them. That's why we can hear them from our room. Screaming. They're everywhere. We got tofu pad siu and tofu and eggplant stir fry. I've already had some and it's so good. Away the bump. Okay. This was our room in Sydney. We're leaving, so everything's gonna be slightly askew. This was the kitchen. That was the living room. Hi. And then this was our, there's Alex in his turtle shell. It's like double the thickness of you. <laughs> and then this is our bathroom. It's nice. Okay, on to the next place. Bye, Sydney. Bye, Sydney. Nope, still says more light required. Okay, now it's better. But now you're, okay. We can't really see what's behind you, that's the hard part. <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> Hopefully it's not too windy. Hopefully you heard all of that. If not, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> okay, bye. Hugs and kisses.